Lesson 1. How did you start off your day today? Hi Anna, how did you start off your day today? I started the day off today with a cup of coffee. That's a popular way to kickstart the morning. Yes, it helps me feel more awake and focused. Do you have any morning rituals or routines? I usually take a few minutes for stretching and deep breathing. That's a great way to center yourself before the day begins. It helps me feel more grounded and ready for the day ahead. Any specific plans or goals for today? I have a few work tasks to complete and a meeting in the afternoon. It sounds like a busy day ahead. Remember to take breaks too. Yes, I'll make sure to take short breaks for rest and relaxation. That's important for maintaining productivity and well-being. I agree, balance is key. Wishing you a successful and productive day, Anna. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Have a great day too. You're welcome, Anna. Take care and have a wonderful day. Lesson 2. How are you feeling today? Hi Anna, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling hydrated and refreshed. That's great to hear. Did you drink enough water? Yes, I made sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day. Staying hydrated is important for our overall well-being. I agree, it helps me feel more energized and focused. Any tips for staying hydrated? I always carry a water bottle with me and take sips frequently. That's a good habit to have. It's easy to forget to drink enough water. It takes some practice, but it becomes second nature over time. Do you notice any benefits from staying hydrated? Definitely. It improves my skin, digestion, and overall health. That's wonderful. Keep up the good work, Anna. Thank you, John. I will. Have a great day. You too, Anna. Stay hydrated and take care. Lesson 3. Do you incorporate exercise into your daily routine? Hi Anna, do you incorporate exercise into your daily routine? Yes, I do some sort of exercise for about 30 minutes. That's great. What kind of exercises do you usually do? I enjoy a mix of cardio and strength training exercises. How do you find the time for exercise each day? I make it a priority and schedule it into my day. That's a smart approach. Consistency is key. It helps me stay active and maintain my fitness. Do you have any favorite exercises or workouts? I like jogging, yoga, and bodyweight exercises. Those are great choices for staying fit and flexible. They work well for me and keep me motivated. How do you feel after exercising? I feel energized and refreshed, ready to take on the day. It's amazing how exercise can have such positive effects. Absolutely. It's important for both physical and mental well-being.
Keep up the good work, Anna. Your dedication is inspiring. Thank you, John. I appreciate your support. You're welcome, Anna. Have a fantastic workout today. Thanks, John. You too. Stay active and take care. Lesson 4. Did you put on your makeup today? Hi Anna, did you put on your makeup today? Yes, I put on my makeup this morning. That's great. What kind of makeup do you usually wear? I typically wear foundation, mascara, and lipstick. How long does it usually take you to do your makeup? It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do my makeup. Do you have any favorite makeup brands or products? I like using a mix of drugstore and high-end brands. It's nice to have options and find what works for you. Yes, it's all about personal preference and what makes me feel confident. Do you have any makeup tips or tricks? I always make sure to moisturize my skin before applying makeup. That's a good tip. Skincare is important for a smooth application. Absolutely. It helps my makeup look more natural and last longer. You always look great, Anna. Your makeup suits you well. Thank you, John. I appreciate your kind words. You're welcome, Anna. Have a wonderful day with your makeup on. Thanks, John. You too. Take care and have a great day. You too, Anna. Stay beautiful and confident. Lesson 5. What did you have for breakfast today? Hi Anna, what did you have for breakfast today? I had a light breakfast of oatmeal with fruits. That sounds healthy and nutritious. Yes, it gives me energy to start the day. Do you usually eat a light breakfast? Yes, I prefer starting my day with something light. Have you tried eating eggs for breakfast? Yes, sometimes I have scrambled eggs with toast. Eggs are a good source of protein. They keep me feeling full and satisfied. Oatmeal and eggs are both great breakfast options. They provide a good balance of nutrients. Do you add any toppings to your oatmeal? I like adding a sprinkle of cinnamon and a drizzle of honey. That sounds delicious. I'll have to try it sometime. It adds a bit of flavor and sweetness to the oatmeal. Thanks for sharing your breakfast choices, Anna. You're welcome, John. Have a great day. You too, Anna. Enjoy your breakfast and take care. Lesson 6. What do you usually pack for lunch? Hi Anna, what do you usually pack for lunch? I quickly pack a salad or sandwich for my lunch. That's a convenient and healthy choice. Yes, it allows me to have a balanced meal on the go. What kind of salads do you make? I like to mix greens with vegetables and add some protein, like chicken or beans. 
That sounds refreshing and filling. It keeps me satisfied throughout the day. And what about sandwiches? I usually go for whole wheat bread with lean meats and veggies. Simple and tasty. Do you have any favorite dressings or spreads? I like using vinaigrettes or hummus as a healthier alternative. That's a good way to add flavor without too many calories. Exactly. It's all about finding a balance. Do you have any tips for quick and easy lunch packing? Prepping ingredients in advance and using reusable containers help a lot. That's a smart approach to save time and reduce waste. It's convenient for busy days. Well, your packed lunches sound delicious and nutritious. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Anna. Enjoy your lunch and have a great day. Thanks, John. You too. Take care. Lesson 7. How do you usually commute to work? Hi Anna, how do you usually commute to work? I ride my bike to work, it takes about 20 minutes. That's a healthy and eco-friendly way to travel. Yes, it's both convenient and enjoyable. Do you face any challenges while biking to work? Sometimes I have to navigate through traffic, but overall, it's a smooth ride. Have you noticed any benefits from biking to work? It helps me stay active and saves money on transportation. That's great. It's a win-win situation. Plus, it's a refreshing way to start and end the workday. Do you have any tips for biking to work safely? Wearing a helmet, obeying traffic rules, and having reflective gear are important. Safety should always be a priority. Absolutely, it's crucial when biking in the city. Well, it's commendable that you choose biking as your commute. Thank you, John. I enjoy it a lot. You're welcome, Anna. Have a pleasant bike ride to work and a productive day. Thanks, John. You too. Take care. Lesson 8. What's the first thing you do when you get to work? Hi, Anna. What's the first thing you do when you get to work? I like to first catch up on emails. That's a good way to stay organized and informed. Yes, it helps me prioritize my tasks for the day. How do you manage your email inbox efficiently? I try to respond to urgent emails right away and categorize others for later. Any tips for staying on top of emails? Setting designated times to check and respond to emails can be helpful. That's a smart approach to avoid constant distractions. It keeps me focused on other important work as well. Do you have any strategies for managing a large volume of emails? I use filters and folders to organize and sort my emails. That's a good way to keep things organized and easily accessible. Yes, it saves time and prevents important emails from getting lost. Well, it sounds like you have a good system in place for email management. 
Thank you, John. It helps me stay productive. You're welcome, Anna. Have a productive day at work. Thanks, John. You too. Take care. Lesson 9. What's the next thing you do after checking your emails? Hi Anna, what's the next thing you do after checking your emails? I check my calendar to see what meetings I have. That's a good way to plan your day and stay organized. Yes, it helps me allocate time for different tasks. How do you prioritize your meetings? I usually prioritize meetings based on their importance and urgency. Do you have any strategies for preparing for meetings? I make sure to review any relevant materials or notes beforehand. That's a proactive approach to be well prepared. It helps me actively participate and contribute during the meetings. Any tips for managing back-to-back -back meetings? Taking short breaks between meetings and staying focused is important. That's a good way to avoid burnout and maintain productivity. Yes, it allows me to stay engaged and attentive. Well, it sounds like you have a good routine for managing your meetings. Thank you, John. It helps me stay organized and efficient. You're welcome, Anna. Have a successful day with your meetings. Thanks, John. You too. Take care. Lesson 10. Do you have any tips for avoiding traffic during your commute? Hi Anna, do you have any tips for avoiding traffic during your commute? I usually arrive early and leave a little bit early. That's a smart strategy. How does it help you? It helps me beat the traffic and have a smoother drive. Do you have any specific times when you leave work? I try to leave a little before the rush hour starts. That's a good way to avoid the peak traffic congestion. Yes, it saves me time and reduces stress on the road. Do you find arriving early beneficial in other ways? Yes, it gives me some extra time to settle in and prepare for the day. It's always nice to have a few moments of peace before work starts. Definitely, it helps me start the day in a calm and focused manner. Well, your approach to beating the traffic seems effective. Thank you, John. It works well for me. You're welcome, Anna. Have a smooth commute and a productive day. Thanks, John. You too. Take care. Lesson 11. What do you usually do on your way home from work? Hi Anna, what do you usually do on your way home from work? On the way home, I often stop by the store to pick up fresh food for dinner. That's a great way to ensure you have fresh ingredients for your meals. Yes, it allows me to prepare a healthy and delicious dinner. Do you have any favorite items you like to pick up from the store? I like to get a variety of vegetables, fruits, and lean proteins. That sounds like a well-balanced and nutritious meal. It helps me maintain a healthy diet and enjoy cooking at home. Any tips for shopping efficiently at the store? 
I usually make a shopping list beforehand and stick to it. That's a good way to stay focused and avoid impulse purchases. Yes, it helps me save time and money. Well, it sounds like you have a good routine for grocery shopping. Thank you, John. It works well for me. You're welcome, Anna. Enjoy your fresh ingredients and have a lovely dinner. Thanks, John. You too. Take care. Lesson 12. What do you usually do to wind down before going to bed? Hi Anna, what do you usually do to wind down before going to bed? I wind down before going to bed at 10 o'clock. That's a good habit. How do you unwind? I like to read a book or listen to calming music. That sounds like a relaxing way to prepare for sleep. Yes, it helps me clear my mind and relax my body. Do you have any other activities that help you wind down? Sometimes I take a warm bath or do some gentle stretching. Those are great ways to promote relaxation and prepare for sleep. Absolutely, they help me transition into a restful state. Any tips for getting a good night's sleep? Creating a comfortable sleep environment and sticking to a bedtime routine can help. That's a good approach to establish healthy sleep habits. Yes, it promotes better sleep quality and overall well-being. Well, it sounds like you have a good routine for winding down and getting a good night's sleep. Thank you, John. It works well for me. You're welcome, Anna. Have a restful night and sweet dreams. Thanks, John. You too. Take care. Lesson 13. I was thinking of taking her out for a surprise dinner tonight. Hi Anna, I was thinking of taking her out for a surprise dinner tonight. That sounds like a lovely idea. But I'm worried she might already have plans. Maybe you can subtly ask her if she's available tonight. I don't want to ruin the surprise if she does have plans. You can try asking her without giving away the surprise. That's a good suggestion. I'll find a way to ask her casually. It's important to consider her schedule before planning the surprise. Yes, I want to make sure it's a special evening for both of us. I'm sure she'll appreciate the effort you put into it. I hope so. I want it to be a memorable night for both of us. Just communicate with her and see if tonight works for her. You're right. I'll talk to her and find out the best time for our surprise dinner. Good luck, John. I hope everything works out well. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your advice. You're welcome, John. Enjoy your surprise dinner together. Thanks, Anna. Take care. Lesson 14. How about we order pizza and watch a movie together? Hi Anna, how about we order pizza and watch a movie together? That sounds like a great idea. What kind of pizza would you like? I'm in the mood for some classic pepperoni pizza. 
Perfect, I'll order a large pepperoni pizza then. Thank you, John. That's my favorite. Any movie preferences? How about a comedy or an action movie? Sounds good. Let's pick a funny comedy to lighten the mood. I'll browse through the options and find a good one. Take your time and let me know when you've decided. All right, I'll find the perfect movie for our pizza night. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Me too, John. It'll be a relaxing and enjoyable evening. Pizza and a movie night with you is always the best. Thank you, John. You make it special. It's my pleasure. Let's have a great time together. Absolutely. Let's dig in and enjoy the movie. Sounds like a plan. Pizza and laughter, here we come. Indeed. Let's make it a memorable night. All right, let's get everything ready. Pizza and movie night, here we go. Can't wait. Let's make it a great night, John. Definitely, Anna. Enjoy the evening and take care. You too, John. Have a fantastic time. Lesson 15, help with some of the household chores. Hi Anna, you mentioned that you want me to help with some of the household chores today? Yes, John. It would be great if you could lend a hand. Of course, I'm happy to help. What needs to be done? We need to clean the bathroom and vacuum the floors. All right, I'll take care of cleaning the bathroom. Thank you, John. I'll handle the vacuuming. Let's work together and get it done efficiently. Agreed, teamwork will make it easier and faster. Should we start with the bathroom first? Yes, let's tackle the bathroom cleaning first. Do we have all the cleaning supplies we need? Yes, they're under the sink. Grab what you need. All right, I'll gather the cleaning supplies and get started. I'll grab the vacuum cleaner and start vacuuming. Let's make sure to clean every corner and surface. Attention to detail is important for a thorough clean. I'll scrub the toilet, wipe the sink, and clean the shower. I'll vacuum the floors and make sure they're spotless. We're a good team, Anna. We can accomplish this. Absolutely, John. Together, we can handle anything. Once we're done, we can relax and enjoy our clean home. It'll be nice to unwind in a tidy environment. Let's get to work and make the house shine. Ready, set, go. Let's do this, John. All right, Anna. Let's make the house sparkle. Good luck, John. Let's get those chores done. Thanks, Anna. Good luck to you too. Let's do our best. Let's do it. Lesson 16, planning on playing video games all day. 
Hi Anna, I was thinking of planning on playing video games all day. That sounds like a fun idea. Which games do you want to play? I have a few games in mind, like racing and adventure games. Do you want to play together or solo? It would be great if we could play together. Sure, I'm up for some gaming. Let's make it a gaming marathon. Awesome! We can take turns and try different games. Do we have snacks and drinks for our gaming session? I'll grab some snacks and drinks before we start. Perfect, it's important to stay fueled and hydrated. Let's set up the gaming console and get ready to play. I'll grab the controllers and set up the gaming area. Should we start with a racing game? Sounds good. Let's race and see who's the better driver. Challenge accepted. Get ready to eat my dust. We'll see about that. I'll give you some tough competition. Let's have fun and enjoy our gaming day together. Absolutely, it's all about having a good time. I appreciate you joining me for a day of gaming. No problem, John. It's always fun to play games with you. Let's make some unforgettable gaming memories today. I'm ready for it. Let's level up and conquer those games. All right, Anna. Game on. Game on, John. Let's do this. Good luck, Anna. Let the games begin. Thanks, John. May the best gamer win. Lesson 17, should I do the dishes or vacuum? Hi Anna, should I do the dishes or vacuum? How about you do the dishes, and I'll handle the vacuuming. Sounds like a plan. I'll start with the dishes then. Thank you, John. I appreciate your help. No problem, Anna. I'm happy to contribute. Let's make sure to wash the dishes thoroughly. Definitely, we want them to be squeaky clean. I'll grab the vacuum cleaner and get started. Great, the floors will be spotless in no time. We make a good team when it comes to chores. That's true, we work well together. It's important to keep our home clean and tidy. I agree, a clean house feels more comfortable. Let's get to work and finish the tasks efficiently. Let's do it. We'll have everything sparkling in no time. I'm glad we can rely on each other for help. Me too, Anna. We can accomplish anything together. Once we're done, we can relax and enjoy our clean space. That's the best part. A clean home is so refreshing. All right, let's get started and make it shine. Ready, set, go. Let's tackle those chores. Good luck, John. Let's get those dishes and floors done. Thanks, Anna. Good luck to you too. Let's do our best. Let's do it. 
Lesson 18, Should We Take Out the Trash and Clean the Bathroom? Hi Anna, should we take out the trash and clean the bathroom? Yes, let's tackle those tasks today. I'll take care of taking out the trash. Thank you, John. I'll handle cleaning the bathroom. Make sure to tie the trash bag tightly. I will, we don't want any spills or messes. I'll grab the trash bin and head outside. Don't forget to replace the bag with a new one. I won't, I'll make sure everything is clean and tidy. I'll gather the cleaning supplies for the bathroom. Clean the sink, toilet, and shower thoroughly. I'll scrub every corner and make it shine. We're a good team, Anna. We can do this efficiently. Absolutely, John. Together, we can handle any task. Once we're done, we'll have a fresh and clean home. It'll feel so good to have everything in order. Let's get to work and finish these chores quickly. Ready, set, go. Let's make our home spotless. Good luck, Anna. Let's get that trash out and bathroom clean. Thanks, John. Good luck to you too. Let's do our best. Let's go. Lesson 19, please put it back on the shelf. Anna, you dropped a plate. Please put it back on the shelf. I'm sorry, John. I'll be more careful next time. Accidents happen, just be more cautious. I'll make sure to handle things with care. It's important to avoid unnecessary breakage. I understand, John. I'll be more mindful. Thank you, Anna. Let's prevent any more accidents. I'll pay extra attention from now on. That's great, we can avoid future mishaps. I appreciate your understanding, John. We all make mistakes, just learn from them. Absolutely, I'll take it as a lesson. Let's move forward and be more careful in the future. Agreed. No more accidents from now on. I trust you, Anna. I know you'll do better. Thank you for your faith in me, John. You're welcome. Let's keep our belongings safe. Definitely, John. Let's be more cautious together. Lesson 20, I think you are an amazing housewife. Anna, I think you are an amazing housewife. Really? Thank you, John. You manage the household so well. I try my best to keep things in order. You're excellent at cleaning and organizing. It's important to create a comfortable environment. You're also a fantastic cook. I enjoy preparing delicious meals for us. You take care of everyone with so much love. I want to make sure everyone feels cared for. We're lucky to have you in our lives. I feel grateful to be part of this family. 
Your dedication and hard work don't go unnoticed. Thank you, John. Your support means a lot. You're truly an amazing housewife. I appreciate your kind words, John. Lesson 21, I'll make the salad. I'll make the salad. Great. I'll prepare the garlic bread. Do you need any help with that? No, it's quite simple. All right, just let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thanks, John. You're welcome, Anna. Enjoy making the garlic bread. I will, John. The salad will be delicious too. I hope so. We make a great team in the kitchen. Definitely. We always have fun cooking together. That's true. Cooking brings us closer. It's a wonderful way to bond. Agreed. Let's get started then. Yes, let's make a delicious meal together. I'll make the salad. Great. I'll prepare the garlic bread. Do you need any specific ingredients for the salad? Just some lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers will do. Okay, I'll get those from the fridge. Thanks, John. How about the dressing? We have some Italian dressing in the pantry. Perfect. That's my favorite. I'm glad you like it. Is there anything else I can do? Could you wash and chop the vegetables, please? Sure thing. I'll take care of it. Thanks, John. You're a great help. It's my pleasure, Anna. We make a good team. Definitely. It's more fun to cook together. I agree. Plus, the food tastes better too. Absolutely. Homemade meals are the best. I can already imagine how delicious our dinner will be. Me too. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Well, let's not keep our stomachs waiting any longer. Agreed. Let's get cooking and enjoy our meal together. Lesson 22, let's head to the grocery store. Anna, let's head to the grocery store. Sure, we need to get everything we need. Do we have a shopping list? Not yet, but we can make one quickly. Great, I'll grab a pen and paper. We need fruits, vegetables, and some meat. Should we also get some dairy products? Yes, milk, cheese, and yogurt would be good. Any specific brand or type? Just the usual ones we buy. All right, anything else on the list? Maybe some bread and eggs too. Okay, we're almost done with the list. Don't forget about snacks and drinks. Right, chips, soda, and water. Perfect, our list is complete. 
Let's grab our wallets and head out. Ready to go. Let's get everything we need. And maybe a few treats for ourselves too. Of course, a little reward for our shopping trip. Let's make it a fun and productive outing. Absolutely. Off to the grocery store we go. Lesson 23. We had a difficult time picking out the right fruits and vegetables. Anna, we had a difficult time picking out the right fruits and vegetables. Yeah, it was challenging to find the ones that were ripe. I think we should look for ones that are firm but not too hard. That's a good point. Soft fruits may be overripe. And vegetables should be vibrant in color and free from blemishes. Definitely, we want them to be fresh and nutritious. It took some time, but I think we did a good job selecting them. I agree. Our efforts will pay off in the delicious meals we'll make. It's worth the extra effort for quality ingredients. Absolutely. It's important to prioritize freshness and taste. Let's make sure to properly store and handle them at home too. Yes, we should keep them in the right conditions to maintain their freshness. I'm glad we went through the process together. Me too. We make a great team even in challenging situations. That's true. Our determination and teamwork always come through. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor and create amazing dishes. I can't wait. Cooking with you is always an adventure. Likewise, John. Let's make some culinary magic. Indeed, let's get started and make something delicious. Lesson 24, we can just try to remember what we need. Anna, we can just try to remember what we need. Okay, let's see if we can recall everything. Fruits, vegetables, meat, dairy, bread, eggs, snacks, and drinks. Right, we got it all. Let's head to the checkout. Hopefully, we won't forget anything. I'll keep an eye on the items in the cart. Great, let's finish our shopping smoothly. We managed to finish our shopping without any more mishaps. That's a relief. Now, let's make our way home. I can't wait to unload the groceries and relax. It's been quite a productive day. Definitely, we accomplished a lot. Thanks for being such a great shopping partner, Anna. Thank you too, John. Let's head home and enjoy the rest of the day. Agreed. It's time to unwind and enjoy our purchases. Let's make some delicious meals with the ingredients we got. Sounds like a plan. Let's make the most of our groceries. Absolutely. Home sweet home, here we come. Let's go. Homeward bound. Lesson 25, I may not be the best at shopping. Anna, I may not be the best at shopping. That's okay, John. We all have our strengths. I'm just grateful to have you by my side. 
Ah, uh, thank you. I'm happy to help. You're organized and make things easier. And you're supportive and great company. Together, we make a perfect team. That's right. We complement each other well. I appreciate your patience and guidance. It's my pleasure, John. We're in this together. I couldn't ask for a better shopping partner. That's very kind of you to say. Let's continue to tackle challenges together. Absolutely, John. We can handle anything that comes our way. With you by my side, I feel lucky and confident. And I feel the same way, John. We make a great team. Let's keep supporting and encouraging each other. Definitely. Together, we can accomplish anything. Thank you, Anna. I'm grateful for your presence in my life. Thank you too, John. I feel the same way. Lesson 26, watch out for that boiling water. Anna, watch out for that boiling water. Oh no, thanks for warning me. Safety always comes first in the kitchen. I almost spilled it on myself. Be careful when handling hot liquids. I'll make sure to be more cautious. Accidents can happen, but we should prevent them. You're right, we should prioritize safety. Let's use oven mitts or pot holders next time. Good idea, that will protect our hands. And remember to keep a safe distance from the stove. I'll keep that in mind, thanks for the reminder. It's better to be safe than sorry. Absolutely, we should always be vigilant. Cooking is enjoyable, but we must stay alert. Agreed, safety should never be compromised. Now that we're aware, let's continue cooking. Yes, let's proceed with caution and finish our meal. And remember, teamwork keeps us safe. Definitely, together we can prevent accidents. Great, let's continue cooking and stay safe. Absolutely, let's finish what we started. Lesson 27, why do we have a towel handy? Anna, why do we have a towel handy? We need it to wipe up any spills or messes. Ah, that makes sense. It's a smart idea. It helps keep the kitchen clean and safe. Absolutely, a towel is a useful tool. It's important to address spills promptly. That way, we prevent accidents or slips. Plus, it's more hygienic to have a clean workspace. Agreed, cleanliness is essential in the kitchen. Let's always keep a towel within reach. Good idea, we should make it a habit. It's a small step that can make a big difference. Absolutely, a towel can save us time and effort. And it keeps our cooking environment tidy. I'm glad we have a towel handy. Me too, it's a simple yet practical solution. 
Let's continue cooking, knowing we're prepared. Definitely, let's tackle any spills with our trusty towel. Onward to a clean and delicious meal. That's the spirit, John. Let's get cooking. Lesson 28, I got you some flowers. Anna, I got you some flowers. Oh, how thoughtful of you, John. I thought they would brighten up your day. That's so sweet. Thank you. You deserve a little something special. You always know how to make me smile. I'm glad you like them. They're beautiful. I appreciate the gesture. It's just a small token of my appreciation. Well, it means a lot to me. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Thank you, John. You're amazing. You're welcome, Anna. You deserve the best. I'm lucky to have you in my life. And I'm lucky to have you too, Anna. These flowers have made my day brighter. That's what I was hoping for. Mission accomplished. Thank you again, John. You're the best. It's my pleasure, Anna. Anything for you. Lesson 29. Do you know where the nearest subway station is? Anna, do you know where the nearest subway station is? Yes, the closest station is just a few blocks away. That's convenient. How long does it take to walk there? It should take us about 10 minutes on foot. Perfect, we can save time by taking the subway. Definitely, it's faster than driving in this traffic. Is the station easy to find? Yes, it's well marked and there are signs along the way. Great, we won't get lost then. No worries, I know the route well. Should we buy tickets before we get there? We can buy them at the station. It's more convenient. How much is the fare? It's $2.50 per ride. That's reasonable. Let's make sure we have cash or a card. Good idea, we don't want any surprises. I'm looking forward to the subway ride. Me too, it's a convenient way to get around the city. Thanks for guiding us, Anna. You're welcome, John. Let's head to the station now. Off we go. Lesson 30, how can we get there? Anna, how can we get there? You can get there by turning right at the traffic lights. Oh, I see. So we just need to follow the road? Yes, keep going straight until you reach the traffic lights. And then we turn right, right? Yes, turn right at the lights, and it will be on your left. Is it a big building or easy to spot? It's a big building with a sign, so it should be easy to spot. That sounds straightforward. Thanks for the directions. 
No problem, happy to help you find your way. I'm glad you're here to navigate. I've been there before, so I know the way. That's reassuring. Let's follow your directions. Just stay focused and watch out for the traffic lights. Will do. Ready to go? Absolutely, let's head in the right direction. Onward to our destination. Let's go, John.